Sit in the lobby, show me something Keep it soft and turn nobody in your city Smoke exotics, Hey, Spin it slow, oh, oh, yeah And you know what I want, oh, oh, yeah Hey Rosex, I'm Yanni Rose and welcome back to my channel So today I will be installing clipping So I'm gonna go from this to this so today's video is sponsored by fn hair so shout out to them because y'all the clip-ins was doing what they needed to do <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started with the video so fn hair is sponsoring today's video so shout out to them here is the packaging it comes in this cute little pink box and a cute little pink satin bag so once you pull out everything you have your clip-ins i have three packs of 24 inches this is in their texture silky straight and you also get an edge brush a wig cap your instructions and you also get an elastic band and just more details on the actual um clip-ins so these clip-ins are their seamless clip-ins so the clip-ins as you can see it has like a flat detail it's not like the weft clip-ins it has this very flat detail which you will see it allows the clip-ins to lay super super flat so let's go ahead and get started this is my natural hair so yeah we're gonna we're gonna get it together <laughs> so um i wear a lot of ponytails so i think that's why my hair is like kind of thin right there so i feel like if you're a thin hair girl or if you just want a little length then clip-ins is your best friend um i am trying to figure out what i need to do to my hair to make it grow so if you have any tips let me know <laughs> so right now i am just using the longer pieces in the back and as you can see it lays super flat like i was so impressed and it didn't take me that long to install these clip-ins and these clip-ins really match and these clip-ins really matched my natural hair texture i don't know it's because my hair is kind of fine a little bit it just really matched like you guys will see the match was crazy so right now i'm putting the longer pieces in the only thing i didn't like i feel like some of the pieces were too long i have a very small head like if i get a wig just for reference I think I need like a twin. I think my like circumference is like a 22 inch. It's like if I get a wig, I need a small cap. My head is pretty small. So um, I would probably have to cut the tape. It, I mean, the clip ins to make them fit a little better, but it was still flat and it still fit. I just really had to like um, switch up the layers. Like I had to put shorter pieces in the back and longer pieces around the crown of my head. And that way they laid like super flat. And at that point I didn't have any problems with it, but you can't just do it traditionally putting the longer pieces in the back if you have a smaller head. So right now I am just building up the back and I wasn't able to get all of the hair in because my hair is super small my head is small like i said but i almost i pretty much got i'll say like 90 percent of it in i think i had like three or four um clip-ins left but it still was super full i'm pretty sure if i was able to get those in and as you can see i barely even like put hair in between it and it still was a lot um but if you like a fuller look you would just add more clip-ins to get a fuller look but since it's straight i don't like thick straight hair i like it to be super natural and since my head my hair my natural hair is kind of fine i feel like the amount of clip-ins i was able to get in my head just matched my hair texture much better it just gave me a more natural appearance but like i said if you want a thicker appearance you would just add more so right now i'm just taking my time and really parting it and that's the thing i was really trying to take my time and part it neatly so i could fit as many um clip-ins as i could and i'm just really building the back because i knew that's where i was going to be able to get the most clip-ins in because as you guys saw in the beginning my hair is kind of fine in the in at the top and y'all these clip-ins was not going nowhere like i was yanking them and they was in there they was in there like swimwear okay <laughs> so um right now i am just kind of finishing up on the crown area 
And you see what I mean? I think that was only three and I'm already in the middle of my head. Like my head is so small and I didn't want to like jam pack the clippings in because I didn't want it to be bulky. But when they say seamless, they really mean seamless because y'all, these clippings laid so flat. <laughs> it was given like, it felt like it's, it's it gives a like look and appearance of tapings, which I was super impressed by because I like tape-ins. I just don't like the maintenance of tape-ins. So having this like not wef wefted and just look really seamless like tape-ins, but you can clip them on and clip them off. Y'all, whoever came with that, they did that. So as you can see, I am just taking my time and really <laughs> making sure my parting was as neat as I can get it. I didn't have a mirror, so I literally had to just fill it out. So right now I'm just putting that last piece on the crown and kind of brushing it out. And y'all, it just was looking so good. Like I was so shook. Because I didn't think like my hair was going to match like a silky straight texture, but it really did. Like it looks so good. I was impressed. So right now I'm just going to start um, finishing up the crown of the head. So what I like to do is the last kind of two pieces, the last like longer pieces, I like to bring it all the way around my head. Since my head is small, I'm able to do this and I have to do it because as you can see, my edges are kind of thin. So I had to really make it work where I wasn't like causing tension to my hair, but then I was also laying everything down and making sure the clip-ins was super flat. So as you can see, like right on the crown, so like eyebrow to eyebrow, I was really taking my time and getting that parting straight so I could use a longer piece because their smaller pieces are like one inch pieces. And when you have clip-ins that have the small pieces, like the one inch, you have to like go like almost like a ladder on the sides, like the edges of your hair. So that's exactly what I had to do. So when it comes to that last piece, you got to make sure that it is like it has a good fit. So as you can see, I was just making sure it was going to fit and it was going to be in a perfect spot to where when I parted my hair, it was still going to cover it, but I still had more room to add those like smaller pieces in. So you guys will see that now. So as you can see, I am just fixing my part first before I go in and add the little pieces. And make sure you do this, whether it's a middle part or a side part, get your parting together before you start adding those little smaller pieces. Because those little smaller pieces are going to dictate how your hair lays in front of your face. And I like my middle part to kind of lay in my face and not to the side. So I really had to be strategic with how I placed everything. So as you can see, I was just first making sure that my hair covered the back, that last um, tape, I mean that last clip in, and then I'm gonna go on the sides because that's where my hair is the thinnest at. So as you can see, I am just parting very thin areas and we're going to go ahead and add those little pieces in and I had to go um a little higher because they're like one inch ones I wish they had the two inch ones because I feel like the two inch ones they just lay better like you can it just looks better and I feel like you can get more room but with the only thing about the one inch ones, you could put more of them in the front. So it just really depends on how you like your hair to lay. Um, I was okay since it was straight hair. I wanted it to be super duper flat. So the one inch was actually perfect for me to get really close to the parting without it looking bulky and with it looking super full where my, where my natural hair is kind of thin at. So make sure you you kind of understand how you want the hairstyle to look and just understand your hair. If your hair is thicker in the front and you need more clip-ins in the back or vice versa, just make sure you kind of pay attention and consult with your hair before you add your clip-ins so you get the most natural appearance. So as you can see, I'm just brushing my hair into that hair. And I feel like a hard brush is the best because it really allows you to like really press your hair into the clippings and get a very seamless natural blend and as you can see i was shook i'm like okay 
this doing what it needs to do <laughs> but um that's the only thing that's the only con i had about these clippings i wish they had the two inch smaller pieces instead of the one inch um but the one inch kind of do mimic tape-ins so if you like that look or if you like your parting to lay a certain way i feel like the one inch is best for you but as you can see i put them on both sides and it still looks really really good um i love the density that i got i could have probably put a little more in there but i love how natural it looked i feel like it really gave me a very natural appearance so as you can see the blend looks incredible like it looks so good it was so flat it matched perfectly it was very seamless too like i was y'all when they say seamless they meant that like you don't get that like bulky edge of like a wefted clip in it's super flat like so 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 flat so you can really style these up and style these down um depending on what kind of hairstyle you like so this is the back and as i said y'all it looks so good so here is the end of the video shout out to elfin hair for sponsoring today's video if you guys want to see me style more clip-ins please let me know in the comment section down below also i will leave everything you need to know about these clip-ins again the texture is silky straight and i use i would say two and a half packs of 24 inches i wouldn't go this long next time i'll probably go a little shorter but it still looks so 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 good <laughs> i love you guys and i will see you in my next one